And there's those two. Look, I don't want to talk about it. I was complete, it was completely dead. We didn't find anything. There's nothing to talk about. But where do you think all the crew went? I don't know. What am I supposed to, how, what the heck am I supposed to know about a bunch of creepy dead aliens? Yeah, I guess you're, uh, hey, your eyes broken or something? You've got kind of stare of a staring problem going on right now? What, you got a problem with me? Helios, what are you doing over there? Come sit with me. Wow, Celine is really super jealous. Whenever I try to like make other friends, Celine's like, don't talk to those other people. You need to sit with me. <laughs> Come on, Celine. Come on. Uh, yeah, okay. I mean, who can blame? I mean, who can who can blame Celine really? I mean, you've seen Helios, Helios half naked, so <laughs> can't really blame him. Those two are always such d bags. Ah, uh, those guys. I know, but don't let them goad you like that. What do they even do, though? I didn't see them helping out on the bridge or anything. Huh. Oh, their second shift. I don't know if I'd get any work done if I had to be around there complaining on top of everything. How are things going on the bridge, anyway? Pfft. <sighs> Keeler made me come down here because he thinks I'm overworking. That good, huh? Yeah, I mean... I know it's only the first day, but it's hard when it feels like we're not making any progress. And on top of it, I'm just sitting there with my own thoughts while I'm trying to work on this and... Mm, forget I said anything. No, hey, what's up? Well, we're supposed to be a team, right? We've got a high compatibility rating. I know we've got a high compatibility rating and we do pretty good in VR together, but... I don't know, maybe it's just because this is our first assignment together and it's non-standard on top of it? Not having any real-time combat deployment and all? But I'm just kind of worried we're not a good match, I guess. Whatever, I don't care for a good match. Just do, just if you do your job. Hey, well, I don't think I'd be, I'd be saying, I'd dismiss him like that. I don't care for a good match, just do, just if you do your job. Hey, what? I think we're a great match. You've been working so hard in training, and you're great to spend time with. Seriously? What? Yeah, how is this even a question? Well, it just seems like you were more interested in hanging around Abel. Well, yeah. Oh. But, yeah, I'm allowed to- I'm allowed to have other friends, Celine. Celine, no. He was sick and I was worried about him, that's all. Oh, oh. Well, I feel like, like an insecure dork then. No, I'm sorry, I didn't know I was making you feel bad. You're my navigator, though. You're number one in my books, got it? You're kind of ridiculously endearing sometimes, you know that? Well, I'm sorry to be weird about this then. I should probably head up to the bridge and get back to work. Seriously though, Helios, don't let yourself be taken advantage of. You're too open a guy sometimes. Okay, okay, I get it. I mean it. Oh, he's really likes me. Okay, I I wanted a way to sort of make him... I didn't want to come on to him. I, I was trying to, like, make it seem like, you know, we're just friends. I, I was trying to friend zone him, but it seemed like the friend zone option was just nasty. So one critique I guess I would have for this game is it would have been nice if I could have had a a more neutral way of turning him down instead of just being like, you know, one extreme over the other. Let's go to the observation deck. Really, I'm sure she'll be fine. But Praxis, didn't you see- Oh, hi Helios! Hey, I'm sorry, am I interrupting? No, no, don't worry. Who are you just talking about? One of the maintenance technicians we were on the derelict wound up in the med bay last night. Oh, I think I saw her when I was in there. Really? Did she look okay? Ethos was, was, had been worrying about her since we saw her last. Still, she still wasn't awake when we checked in with the MO today. Well, she was awake, I think. What happened to her anyway? We don't really... We don't really know. I was mostly there yesterday to stand guard and Ethos just was just supposed to back up to the techs if they had any problems with the engine systems. I didn't even get much of a look at them. Everything was going so easy at first. Officer Vega said it was like the ship's power wanted to come on. Ah, uh, that's kind of creepy. I guess. It's only really unusual because it was an alien system they were interfacing with. Being able to get a ship's power systems back online quickly is pretty important. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. So, were you at the medbay before us? Did you notice if Abel was up yet? Oh yeah, do you know if he's okay? Yeah, he was okay when I was up there. 
He seemed antsy to get out of bed, but the M.O. is keeping him for some tests or something. Oh, thank goodness he's up at least. He seems like he's a lot better. We talked for a little bit. Until Kane showed up. Ugh. Haha, <laughs> Praxis and Kane can't really seem to get along. Can Kane get along with anyone? No. Do you think he's still up there? I don't know, probably not. Why? Maybe we should head back to the medbay and see how Officer Moren is doing, Ethos. Oh, that's a great idea! It was nice talking to you, Helios. Yeah, see you around. Everybody's going to the medbay. I'm going to, to the to the hangar. Oh, looks like Celine's actually taking a break. <laughs> Why is Celine keep following me everywhere? Oh my gosh, Celine! Who's he talking to? I don't know, I wasn't too worried though. I can handle myself pretty well. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you can. Helios, over here. Hey! Are you hitting on my navigator, seriously, Celine? What are you two talking about? Athos was just telling me about this team's experience on the derelict. The way we were all supposed to be geared up, I was pretty sure that might that something might happen. But then, there wasn't anything. It was super weird. It was so empty, it was like no one ever had lived on that ship. Hmm, I see. By the way, Helios, I want to apologize for Porthos and his friend. They're not really the friendliest couple of guys, but still no excuse for them to be rude. Oh, thank you, but it's really not your fault to worry about it. Well, don't use them as an excuse to get too friendly with my navigator. <laughs> no, I'm not. He can he can be friendly with Celine all he wants. Um, oh, thank you, but it's really not your fault. Don't worry about it. Oh, no problem. I'm glad we've been able to get along. Well, I gotta go. See you later. Funny guy. Nice, though. Yeah. So you two, uh, I mean, you better not be screwing on my head. So are you two, uh, I mean, you better not be screwing. <laughs> you, pro you probably have to get back to work, huh? Yeah, I should get back to the bridge. If you still want to talk to someone about the derelict, I bet the maintenance techs down here would be interested. Oh, okay. See you later, Celine. Yep. I'll see what those techs have to say. Hey, how's it going? Hey! What are you two up to? Not much. We're on standby, like you fighters. We're just killing time around here. Well, and waiting to hear anything about Morena. That's the woman who's up in the med bay, right? Yes, she's been working on getting the derelict engine system to communicate with our gear when that feedback hit everyone. Ugh, what was, what was with that anyways? Oh, you mean you don't know either? Huh? We just assume it's something you guys in the bridge team did to, to the computers up there. Oh, no, no! Everything was fine on, the, on our end up to that point. Huh. Weird. It seems like there was... like there was anything... It didn't seem like there was anything that went wrong with the system we were working with, either. You guys had a team member injured, too, right? Do you know if he's doing okay? Oh, Abel? Yeah, he was doing a lot better earlier today. Well, it, it's hopeful, at least. Maybe we'll hear from the M.O. about Morena soon. Yeah, maybe. Anyway, these... These cards aren't going to play themselves. We're starting a new round, though. You want in? Oh, yeah, I've got time to kill. Let's socialize with these guys. Did I win? Wow, you are really terrible at that. Oh, Helios. Don't rub it in or anything. You're just too easy to read. Sometimes being so straightforward isn't exactly a good thing, you know. <laughs> yeah, okay. I think maybe I'll just leave this to people who know what they're doing in the future. Well, if you ever want some pointers, feel free to come visit us. Yeah, it was nice talking to you. I'm really enjoying... So, so far, I am really loving the story. Like, there's a very large cast of characters, but you have a chance to, you know, to kind of get to know them. This, this whole thing feels like making your rounds around the Normandy. Just meeting all of the people, kind of getting a little bit of an idea of, of who they are and what they do and maybe some of their personalities and they are all so very unique and so very different I'm I'm thoroughly enjoying this story so far it's it's really got me hooked you too I'll see you later um, let's go to the CEO's office whoa what was that oh no he looks busy uh, I'm going to the med bay. 
because I want to check on Abel. Uh, whoa, hi? Oh, I want- that would be pretty cool if, like, if, um, something happens, like, something triggers after you- after you, um, do a bunch of things around the ship. So, like, maybe you won't be able to actually go everywhere on the ship, like, you're sort of timed. That would be pretty cool, and maybe, like, by me choosing to play cards with those people, that kind of caused time to move forward. That's pretty awesome, if that's the way this game works is that everything that you decide to do matters in the sense that it allows you to um it, it's it's good rate playability if that's the case if you can if you need to prioritize things what the heck only the mo that and that sick tech are here now i better not disturb her she still looks really sick that feedback was awful i guess some people are more susceptible to things like that i hope she feels better soon where's abel i'm concerned about abel I'm pretty tired. Maybe I should call it a day? No, no, no. Um, the mess deck? Maybe Abel went to the mess area? How can you how can you say that to me? Acne, not now. This sounds really personal. I should leave. I know I shouldn't listen, but I want to. I'm kind of snoopy. I can't hurt. It can't hurt to eavesdrop if they don't see me, right? Not now. If not now, when? You've been avoiding me. I have not. You're being overdramatic. I don't see how I could be overdramatic over something so serious. I'm really worried. It's affecting my work. Well then, maybe you need to see a psychologist. Anyway, don't say things like that. You don't want anyone to think you're unfit for duty. Ugh, what's your- that's your problem? Right there. You're so obsessed with appearances, you- Keeler! Keeler, come back! Oh, hello Helios. Getting a bite to eat? Y yeah Well, don't stay up too late. See you. Bye. Oof. Um... Observation deck? Whew. It sure has been a hectic... Hectic for a day off. It's quiet in here, though. Man, I really hope me and Celine can get along better. He's right about things being a little weird between us since we were partnered on a recon mission instead of during combat deployment like normal. VR is fine and all, but if we're gonna learn to rely on each other, we need more than just messing around in a simulation. He's such a hard worker though, and this is our first mission together. I'm sure we'll have plenty of time to form a stronger bond. It's peaceful being up here by myself though. Just me and the stars. Let's go to the bridge. It's crazy in here, everyone's running around. Oh good, there's Celine. Celine. I can't really talk to you, Helios. We've got just a lot of work when the engines went down. The engines went down? I thought it was just the lights. No, engines, life support, all grayed out. Life support? Shouldn't we be worrying about that? It's okay, it happens, no need to freak out. It kinda seemed really good reason to freak out. Not really, it's just a slight hiccup. Yep, it's nothing something we have to worry about. What, seriously? Here, Celine, let me help. Oh, there's Abel. I have it under control, Abel, thanks. Abel, you're okay! More than okay, he's done 12 hours of work in 5 minutes. He's a genius. And we're, we were all stuck. I thought he said we all suck. <laughs> Thank you guys. Thanks you guys, but I'm sure you all were, were all working hard without me too. Maybe I should leave. Uh, get me out of here. Uh, Celine, you got this. Thanks, Helios. Um... Huh? Who's there? Is that... Demos? What are you doing in here? Were you looking for something? Do you ever talk? Hey! Hey, Demos! Huh? What? What the F you doing down here? I could honestly ask you the same. Are you giving Demos a hard time? What? No! I'm getting real fed up with you, you little punk. What are you even talking about? You keep getting your nose in everyone else's stuff. You're effing with my navigator. What? Look, okay, you're, you're new, so I'm gonna give you some advice. Stick to your own business. You've got your own navigator, so stick to him too. He, he just shoved me out the door. What the heck? 
Wow, okay. Back to the bridge. Celine, Abel, and others are all absorbed in their work. I probably shouldn't bother them. What's this? Someone left their terminal unlocked. Uh, I'd better get out of here before I cause any trouble. I'm not gonna hang, I'm not gonna mess with that. How about the CEO's office? He looks busy. Observation deck? Just me and the stars. Mess deck. There are a few people eating, but no one I want to talk to. Hangar. Guess they found something to do. Uh, hey, you guys alright? <laughs> Not really. Engine just malfunctioned. We, we gotta make sure it wasn't something on our end. They were saying that on the bridge, too. Are we gonna die? We only need to work about dying if they were still down. Total failures dicey this far out, but a little blip like that? That's what we're here for. Yeah, now we've actually got something to do other than F around. Speaking of though, kinda busy here. Right, right. Sorry, I'll get out of your guys' hair. Cargo hold. It's empty. Bridge. There's nothing to do up here. Except disrupt their work and there's no way I'm doing that. Alright, and then there's nothing... Okay, cool, I think I've exhausted everything. There are a few people here no I want to talk to. He looks busy. Alright, alright, so to the bunk. I've, I've had a long day. I'm pretty tired, maybe I should call it a day? Yeah. Alright. That was cool, I love that. I love being able to, to walk around. We salvaged what intel we could. Command was understandably insistent that we get as much as possible. We had trouble decoding it. The logs were hidden under layers and layers of corrupted data. A message from Commander Hayden? Looks like he wants me to report to him first chance I get. Selene and I were going to do some VR training later, so I'd better talk to the commander now while I'm not busy. Hey! It was nice talking to you yesterday. That was nice, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, might have been if your fighter hadn't run me off. Um... That was nice, was- that was nice, wasn't it? I was thinking if you wanted to talk more, maybe we could find somewhere more private? Somewhere we won't be interrupted by nosy teammates? Oh, I'd love to spend more time with you, Abel. Oh, so there's Celine. Celine? What the heck? Oh, sorry. Guess you're in my way. Okay, Celine's being super jealous. He's being super jelly, and Abel's actually, like, being really sweet. So, uh, I mean, I'm trying so hard to be a good friend. Friend. Emphasis on friend to Celine. But he's just being kind of a really jealous. He's just kind of being really, like our our relationship right now. We have a friend. I want to form a friendly business relationship with Celine, possibly more more than business, but more friend, but not beyond friends. If that makes sense, you know. Uh, and I think Celine just needs to understand that we're friends. I want us to be more than just business associates and more friends, but not more than that. I guess you're in my way. Some of us actually have work we need to do around here. Okay, Celine, you're you're starting to show your your true colors here, and I'm not liking it. Well, he didn't need to be so brusque, but he did have a point. I should head up to the bridge as well. We've got a lot of work to do on that data you managed to salvage. Why don't you come see me a little later? Yeah, I'll drop by in a bit. Oh man, I wonder what Celine's problem was. I had better check in with Commander Hayden. You wanted to see me, sir? Yes. You seem like the kind of soldier I can depend upon. Also, you and I are both new to this squadron. I think we might get along. I was hoping maybe you could do something for me. Uh... The thing is, the majority of people here know one another. They've been stationed together for a while, their loyalties are strong. You, your partner, and myself, however, we still hold the distinction of being outsiders. We haven't exactly earned their trust, and frankly, they haven't quite earned mine. What I need is someone who can keep an eye out for who's trustworthy of that trust, and who in it isn't. Ooh, this sounds interesting. I wonder if Commander, the Commander already has his suspicions. There's one person I can think of who, who's been kind of sneaky. 
Sorry, sir, but I don't know if I can agree with what you're suggesting. I think I understand where, which, what you're getting at, sir. Good, good. As I'm sure you understand, I'm not asking for anything unto untoward. Just get to know your crewmates. See if you have, they have any problems. That's exactly what I've been doing, sir. I'm way ahead of you. Way ahead. If anything seems strange to you, then let me know. Strange, sir? I'll leave the defining of that to you. Just check in once in a while and tell me how things are getting along. I love this! This is so cool! This this is, feels like such a, a mystery, investigatory, like, go to different rooms, talk to people, report back to Hayden of your findings. I'm, I'm really... This is so well done. I am just blown away by how deep this game is. This is so cool. I am super impressed. I don't know, this seems a little underhanded to me, sir. Um... The question is, do I trust? Do I trust him? Well, at least I'll be I'll be honest. I don't know, this seems a little underhanded to me, sir. I assure you it's merely a minor precaution for my own peace of mind. I'm not asking you to do anything which you may find personally compromising. Y yes sir. Okay, well that's fair. You sound like a reasonable chap. That's fair. Excellent. Thank you for your time, Helios. You're dismissed. Sir. Okay. Phew, talking with command is pretty stressful. Celine has been kind of weird earlier. Maybe I should check on him. Hey, Celine, how's it going? Ugh, that good, huh? Yeah, I guess some of us just can't be as perfect as Abel is all the time. Hey, you don't have to compare yourself to anything. You're great. Oh, what is that fuss? Oh, is that what the fuss over there is about? Hey, don't blame your shortcomings on other people. Oh, is that what the fuss, so what the fuss over there is about? Yeah, for some reason, Abel's the only one who seems to understand all this, so he's getting all the attention. I don't even understand what he's doing different that's working better. Yeah, I, I don't know, that does seem odd. Hey, uh, is there a navigator free? We got kind of a situation down in the Starfighter hangar. I'm free. It's not like I'm any use up here. I'll see you later then, Celine. What's up, guys? Man, this is so exciting. I thought you guys were having trouble. I thought you guys were having trouble with it yesterday. Yeah, you, uh, yeah. Now that Abel's here, work's actually getting done. And man, this stuff is crazy. That data is more complicated than usual, or something. It's incomprehensible. Um, actually, there is one thing that make might make things a bit clear. Oh God, this again. Hey, it's a big deal, okay? I don't understand why you all think it's unimportant, but the possibility of a ship operating with bilingual systems really is. Huh? Why? Well, it's a little exceptional. I mean, like, the Alliance uses a lingua franca. Same, as far as we can tell, with the Colterons. They use a single language system. It makes intercommunication aboard ships much easier. But a ship using two languages could mean a lot of things about these aliens. They could be two independent world powers working collaboratively, or they could even be an interplanetary alliance. Wow, that's actually pretty cool. Thank you, that's what I've been saying. We're not going to know anything for sure until I can get the two languages isolated and deciphered. But personally, I'm hoping it's an interplanetary thing, because that'd be so cool. Ethos. Quit hogging the new guy. <laughs> oh, Abel. Well, you seemed pretty busy a minute ago. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I, I tend to get kind of engrossed in what I'm doing. Do you want to come with me down to the mess deck to grab something to eat? Yeah, alright, sounds fun. Let's head down then. Woo, I've got a date with Abel. I've got a lunch date with Abel. And Kane better not be around, because otherwise he might get a boot to the head. Oh, uh, hi, Deimos. Deimos is really creeping me out because he doesn't say anything he's like a synth he has he's giving me that synth vibe oh my god that guy is so weird let's eat oh yes so how have you been it hasn't been that long since you saw since you saw me last are you asking how i've been in the last hour i mean since the abandoned ship silly you haven't been... you haven't been having any more ear bleeds, have you? Oh, right. I guess I kind of forgot about that. <laughs> you didn't think anything was odd about that ship, did you? 
Well, I mean... Odd, I don't know. It was definitely creepy. Creepy? Yeah, didn't you feel it? Maybe I'm just xenophobic, but... But... I don't know, it, it's probably... You'll probably just laugh at me. I think you'll find I'm pretty open-minded. I don't know, it kind of just felt almost like deja vu. Oh, with the whole visions of Valentine and all. Ugh, I'm getting creeped out again thinking about it. Can we talk about something else? Why does this make you so uncomfortable? I... Wow, Abel, uh, you looking for fresh D or something? <laughs> Whoa! These people on this ship, doggone it! Can two guys just have a friendly meal in the mess area without people just kind of throwing around? Yeah, okay.